What's good y'all, it's Lucia back with another video, so today I'm gonna make a sample from scratch, no specific direction, but yeah, let's get straight to it. Alright, so I'm gonna start off by going to Analog Lab, and I'm gonna go to my Analog Lab bank, the Indigo bank, that is dropping really soon. I'm gonna sh press shuffle and just see, and just see which uh, presets I want to use. Pad, pad, synth key. I want to use a synth key, so I'm going to turn off the shuffle and just go to the synth keys right here and see if I find anything nice. That's kind of nice, a little different. So I'm going to press C minor, start off uh, on C minor, and then I might uh, transpose up or down the melody later on. see if we can finesse this melody and make it any nice i'm gonna try out some presets in the grain synthesis bank by hze All right, so I like that. So I'm gonna press tools uh, last week to create automation clip. Add some cool automations to this melody. So I'm gonna put it here and figure out a nice uh, pattern. All right, so that's cool. Let's see how this. Just some small textures. I think that's uh, maybe some RC. Just see how it sounds. Alright, so that's cool. I'm gonna render this out and then uh, flip the wave file. Uh, so I'm gonna press here, Edison, on play, record, let's go. Uh, nice, drag this in. So now, now we got our melody in a wave file, so I'm just gonna cut the tail right here, or like cut the end right here. All right, so I'm gonna delete the high pitched, high pitched part. Um, let me just do this like this. So I just want this part right here, the first part. I'm gonna delete the high pitched part, and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna re-render this so everything else is like gone from the sample when I flip it. So I'm just gonna go like this. So I mean, we're only going to use this one, so I'm going to press reverse and I'm going to pitch it up like two semitones. Oh, fuck. Alright, so I'm just going to go like this then. I'm going to pitch this back down and... Uh, I'm gonna record it through Edison again. All right, so I'm gonna drag this into the playlist and uh, mute these for now. Uh, I'm gonna press reverse. I'm 
gonna line it up to that uh, yellow pin right there which is the start or the end of the sample so I'm gonna drag it up right here just like that I still wanna do something more to it before I keep 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 moving with the sample but I don't, I don't know exactly what so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try to maybe time stretch it make it twice as fast duplicate it make this one unique and push it up an octave see how it sounds right so that's cool I'm gonna add both of these to mixer channel 2 and try to add some uh, maybe some halftime or something uh, but not too much I'm probably turn down the mixer like 30 or 40 and drag this effects all the way back yeah so I like that uh, I'm gonna add an EQ as well take out some of the lows right here So it's a bit of clicking at the beginning so I'm just gonna use this thing right here drag it out a little bit and this one as well that's cool I kind of like that actually so I'm gonna try to add a crystallizer right now or the crystals from uh, eventide and uh, see if I can make this even go and see if I can make this go even crazier so I'm gonna go in here oh yeah all right I'm gonna go to the octave section and try out these maybe something like that maybe so completely silent and then here we just pop it up maybe halfway or like 60 70 percent something like that And I'm gonna open up something more. Let's try to speed this up even more, maybe 164. Yeah, okay, so that's cool. So I wanna add like an actual melody on this, uh, something that's. Uh, a little bit more melodic and not just like crazy sounds so I'm gonna try Omnisphere and I'm gonna try to look for like a nice bell or something alright so I'm going to I'm just going to the uh, Keyscape creative library bells and vibes I'm gonna filter it by ambient and just shuffle through the presets Very nice bell actually, so I'm gonna add some delay to this. Um, so I'm going to Echo Boy and yeah. So I like this, uh, I like this eight, uh, one eighth note thing, so I'm just gonna turn up the feedback to like here. Or maybe turn it down a little bit to fourth. No, turn down. It, it's perfect, so let's just stick with that. I like 
I'm just gonna add a bunch of stuff to this. And now I'm gonna add some tremolo, see if that uh, sounds nice. Last thing I'm doing to this is I'm gonna cut out some of the highs. So I'm going to render out this and see if I can flip it. So now I want to add a piano, a dark piano note at the root note just to make it hit harder. And I'm kind of losing like the rhythm of the sample. So I feel like if I add a piano that's hitting at every fourth or every eighth bar it's going to be easier to hear the bpm of the sample uh, so dark preset c sharp minor let's drag it out all the way so that's nice actually i'm going to render that out as well but just keep it as it is, not gonna flip it or anything. Put it right there and chop it up right here and do the same thing with the piano. So I might actually add a uh, decapitator to the piano just to make it hit even harder. So let me just fix this up three, put this on three as well. So I'm just gonna add a decapitator if it sounds nice. So I'm gonna go back to my analog lab bank first and I'm gonna add a pad uh, that is synced to the BPM uh, like a BPM pad or something and uh, see if I find anything nice that fits this loop uh, so going back here picking a pad and type pressing this type thing so here we got all the pads from here to up here so let's just see which one sounds the best I'm gonna try to duplicate these and just pitch, pitch them down one octave. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. Maybe take out a little bit of the high frequencies. Maybe around here, somewhere, 7, 8k, I don't know. That's cool. Uh, I'm gonna render that shit out as well. I'm gonna uh, duplicate this over. I might add some new sounds later. But for now, I'm gonna duplicate this over and maybe flip some of the patterns. I don't know. I don't wanna add a tubular belt to every melody I make, but fuck it, bro. It just sounds nice. Let's just uh, go to some one-shot kits. I'll just add a little bit of reverb to this. Seventh mixer, tra mixer track. And I'm gonna go to, let's just go Valhalla to make it easy. Turn it down.
all right cool i like that so samson drums uh, one shot kits i'm just gonna go and see where i can find anything nice to this all right man so that's pretty much it for the cook up hope you enjoyed the um Hope you enjoyed the sample and hope you learned something new and if you enjoyed it leave a like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video